Hey, hi, hello. Sorry. That is my Star Wars droid. Oh my god. I guess Lola is saying hello. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ. I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls. And this is an adult channel meant for adult doll and toy collectors. We have been taking a look at wave two of the Illy or I Love You Forever dolls by Jack Specific, and we are going to finish that up by taking a look at the I Love Bambi doll and a fashion pack that I just recently got. So let's get into it. All right, so first up, we are gonna take a look at the I Love Bambi doll. Now, if you did not know, the first wave of the Illy dolls or I Love You Forever dolls with the inset eyes were manufactured by Disney. It's why you can find them at Disney stores, like official standalone Disney stores, inside of Targets with the mini Disney stores, why you can find them at Disney parks, and why you can find them online at Shop Disney or on Amazon in the Disney storefront. These ones, this wave two of the Illy dolls, is manufactured by Jack's Pacific. So these dolls, most likely because they are not manufactured by Disney, they are therefore not authentic Disney merchandise, they might not be available on Shop Disney, in Disney parks, or in the Disney storefront on Amazon. I know it's really confusing, but the second wave of Illy Dolls is manufactured by Jack Specific. That is why they look so different. Anyways, let's look at the doll. So here is the I Love Bambi doll in box. Right up here it says Disney 100, celebrate Disney. Instead of the balloons, we are getting a ring. She comes with a second outfit and right down here we have adorable little Bambi. And on the back of the box, it says basically what all the other ones have been saying. I love Bambi, create your own Bambi inspired looks, mix and match 10 plus pieces. And here it features her in all her different outfit possibilities. I'm sure there's more. And out at the bottom it says, oh, look for more Disney inspired dolls. I love Mickey Mouse, I love Bambi, I love Stitch, I love Ursula. I have made videos on every single one of them and I love Bambi is gonna be the last one. And if you look right here, it says Jack Specific, whereas on the other boxes, it said Shop Disney. So that too is how you can tell the difference on who manufactures who. If you are interested, there is her barcode. Now, this video is probably gonna be posted late and the sale will most likely already be over. But I was able to get her from Target because all of their Disney princess merchandise was buy one, get one 50% off. So I got her in a fashion pack. But I went ahead and took advantage of that sale. But let's go ahead and get her out of the box. All right, she's out of the box. But before we take a look at her, we're going to take a look at all the accessories that she comes with. So first up, we have her second outfit skirt. So it is... Now, when I first saw it, I thought it was suede, but it's actually all over velvet, which is, it's so soft, so soft, but it's tan, pink, and like a darker brown color. We have some gold button detail right here and a little Illy tag, and right here in the pocket is a little hidden Mickey. It is held in the back by Velcro, but this, this skirt is adorable. It is so soft, too. Then we have her second outfit shirt. And it feels like a just your basic like cotton shirt, but the front of it has some deer on it. Oh, and there's Thumper right there. Cute, some flowers. The sleeves are brown with some pink in it and what look to be hearts. And then the bottom cuffs of the sleeves are stripes. And it is held in the back by Velcro. Then we have her second pair of shoes. They're like little brown boots with molded on fuzz like white detail with some little spots. And the bottom of the shoe has bees. And the side has a gold bee and there's a little hidden Mickey right on the black heel. And instead of the balloons, we have rings this time. And this one is a pink ring and the glitter does rub off very easily so just be careful with that. Then we have one of her purses. So it is an all over plastic purse with a gold uh, plastic type chain, but it is Bambi's face. It is so cute. 
the back of the purse is just a plain brown with the illy logo this does open but i don't really know what you're going to be able to place in there then we have her other purse again this one is just all molded like plastic but the detail is painted so it's a brown strap up here with like gold molded plastic chain a little plastic tassel down here and it's got like floral detail on it with a little deer the back of the purse is just you know plain brown with the illy logo this does have an opening but it's a little difficult to get it to open then we have her pink hat so this is an all over pink plastic hat with a brown strap around it with white polka dots and then we have her necklace it is a gold plastic necklace with like a little deer head on it all right now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at her also keep in mind i've mentioned it in my other videos but if you haven't watched those videos i'll say it again these dolls do not come with stance you can kind of get them to stand on their own but they do kind of fall over so i'm just using an extra rainbow high stand that i have uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at her Again, the hair, super soft. I I don't, I'm not sure what hair they are using. I've heard that it's nylon. I'm not positive though, but the hair is super soft. It's decently rooted. I mean, if I go like that, you can see the scalp, but it's decently rooted and it is in like a blonde color. Makeup wise, so all of these dolls have pretty, you know, simple makeup so this one has some you know light glitter along the eyelid some subtle blushing and some beautiful pink lips and she is wearing a white you know sweatshirt type of shirt with bambi on it and some little flowers and a butterfly and it is held in the back by velcro for her first outfit skirt it is like this adorable like little i think they call these like bubble skirts where they kind of like fan out but it is a brown color and it is again it is like velvet and it's like super soft and then she finishes off the look with a pair of pink knee-high boots and they have a dark brown heel and like little little what are those hearts or something on the bottom I'm not positive but yeah it's cute and she is articulated in the neck the shoulder the elbow and the wrist the hip and the knee She is also articulated in the ankles. Just be very careful because if you bend this ankle too far, you do run the risk of popping it out of the socket, but you can easily pop it back in. Now, what is different about the Jack's Pacific Illy dolls is that they are not double jointed in the knee like the Disney ones are, but you can still bend the knee back about that far. And with the Disney ones, you could not pop the hip out like that because you would run the risk of the leg popping off. And these ones do sit a lot better than the Disney manufactured Illy dolls. All right, I went ahead and put her in her second outfit and I put her hat on her. I will say because the way the sleeves narrow at the cuffs, it was a little difficult getting her hands through, but here she is. So adorable. I will say she was my least favorite out of all of them. And I think it was just like, I was like, oh, I don't like her outfit. Like, I feel like it's too many colors. Like, I'm not sure. Too many patterns. Holding her in my hand. Having her out of the package. It's completely different than looking at pictures of her. Because now she is basically like, it, it's, a, it's a tie between her and the stitch doll like I can't I don't have a favorite right now because it's almost like a tie 
but she's adorable. Adorable. So she was $29.99, $30 basically after tax. So she was basically the same price as the Wave 1 of the Illy Dolls. We're just, you know, missing the double knee articulation. However, they did add in like an entire extra outfit for us. Not just an outfit piece, but like an entirely other outfit with extra shoes and accessories and everything. So I see where that $30 price comes in. Also, because like I mentioned before, it's Disney. Disney is expensive. Like going to the Disney parks is expensive. Going to shop Disney, anything with, with Disney is just expensive. I've just come to learn and accept that. Overall, I think she is stunning. I think she's beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of the Wave 2 Illy Dolls. But we are now going to take a look at the Belle Fashion Pack. Because I had been wanting this fashion pack. I just kept, you know, putting it to the side and not getting it. But when Target was running the buy one, get one half off with Disney stuff, I went ahead and got it. So I'm going to open it and see what it's all about. Okay, it's been unboxed. So let's take a look. So we have this adorable yellow off the shoulder satin top with some ruffle detail. And there are roses all over it. And it is held in the back by Velcro, Velcro, very, very, very much Bell. Like you look at this and it's like, yeah, that that's Bell. Then we have a pair of denim jeans. These do feel like denim. However, I'm pretty sure it's not. And we have some rose decals on the front, a little button detail, no functional pockets, but we do have some belt loops and they are cuffed at the bottom and they are held in the back by Velcro. Then we have a pair of boots. These boots are adorable. They are like a dark blue color with a tan sole. And then we have floral detail all over them. These are so cute. And that is what the bottom looks like. We have a double gold chain necklace. It is plastic, not actual, you know, chain. But we have uh, one chain has a rose head on it. And the other one has a dangling rose on it. And then we have a pair of rose clips. There's two of them. And they're actual clips. Like they do open and you can clip them in the doll's hair. And then we have an adorable little picnic basket with a little blue bow on it. It does open on one side only. And the food that was inside of it in the packaging is removable. So we have like two little loaves of bread. I think they're called like what baguettes. It could be wrong. I don't know. Like what looks like apples and some grapes. And you just, you know, kind of prop it up in that ba basket like that. Cute. All right. And I went ahead and put the fashion pack, the Belle fashion pack on one of the Wave 1 Illy dolls. Now, these fashion packs that were manufactured by Disney for the Wave 1 Illy Dolls do fit on the Wave 2 Illy Dolls just fine. So everything is, you know, basically interchangeable. But this outfit pack is super adorable. I should have got more. <laughs> Overall, like, Jack Specific and Disney is just, like, doing an amazing job at making these dolls and the clothing pieces and the accessories and all of that it uh, they're doing a great job comment down below what you guys think of the wave two illy dolls do you like them i see where a lot of people are not liking them because they do not have inset eyes the eyes in wave two are painted but let me know down below what you guys think of her this i love bambi doll you know all that good stuff and i hope to see you in the next one love you bye